You all just need to know there's a lot of work that goes into managing our resources. If we don't do all this aquatic plant habitat, our resources definitely would suffer. With our efforts, we just try to make fishing better for our citizens. So these are about three or four weeks old, okay? These are about five weeks, but they, they need to be fertilized because the leaves are getting kind of yellowing. Roots are good, these are ready to plant. This is the water willow, water willow, and you got some maiden cane over here. I'm Mark Ridlesford, fisheries technician with the Wildlife Resources Division. Here at Walton Greenhouse, we do all aquatic plants. Um, there are hardy marginal plants, uh, submersible plants, and we put out about 15 to 20,000 um, aquatic plants in a season to multiple different uh, reservoirs throughout the state. The reservoir planting is important to the, the reservoirs and the fish populations. It's first because of the fish populations benefiting from that input from the habitat. After that, the important parts are locking down soil and really protecting the banks and stabilizing the banks across the reservoir. This is what we're talking about when we're talking about tying up shoreline, these root systems and how quickly they grow. Mark, how old are these? Those are two weeks old. All right. We starting to... They, they just starting, starting a little bit, growing roots yeah. down. We followed up with our hatchery system here by stocking largemouth bass into those areas where we planted aquatic plants. That should provide the nursery habitat for those bass to be able to survive long-term and grow into catchable size fish. All right, so these are uh, lotuses. They're, they're really good for shading out the tops of uh, water and making it a lot cooler. You can feel the water temperatures just in this trough, and uh, fish just love to be up underneath this stuff. So, we're gonna load up and go to Marjorie? Yeah. <clears throat> Got it. Okay, so we're here at Marjorie Lake at Marvin PFA. Um, we've just loaded up 200 water willow plants, brought them here on the trailer. They're now loaded on the pontoon boat. We're gonna take them across the lake over near a American Lotus excluder that we've installed. And we're going to put these water willow in the water. And it sure is green. Marjorie is an excellent site uh, for us to showcase our habitat work. Uh, because we actually began this work on large reservoirs where erosion and sedimentation was a real problem affecting shorelines. Um, now we've increased our capacity and we can expand to some of our public fishing area lakes. So Marjorie's a great example of this. Um, it's an established fishery, it's a quality fishery. These efforts are long lasting. Um, they require an initial upfront investment that carry over years and years. The work we're doing here is uh, ultimately a huge improvement for not just fish habitat, but water quality. And um, we all have a vested interest in clean water. So the plants that we plant not only benefit fish populations, but they cycle nutrients. All of that leads to improved water quality for downstream users. And I think that's something that everyone can get on board with.